make this moment more special, we have our guest, Per Mikkelsen. He is the general manager of Peri Profile and he has been working in Nepal as a development planner, as a development activist. Let me welcome him. So, welcome to Himalaya Thank Television, you. welcome to Nepal, welcome to his, our studio. Thank you very much. How are you? I am very fine. Okay. What are you doing there, Stace? <laughs> I'm in Nepal. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you are in Nepal. Yes. What are you doing in Nepal? Yes. Right I am now? Uh, just this time. I've been here many times, so this time I'm here to look at the project we have here. Okay, this is your twelfth visit to Nepal. Yeah. How yes. do you find Nepali people and the country? I find ne Nepali people very, very interesting and very uh, charming. Mm -hmm. And I compare it to uh, to Danish people because uh, Nepali people have the same kind of humor that Danish people have. Mm -hmm. And Nepali people also like to, to, to have festivals and mm -hmm. like to dance. There are lots of festivals in Nepal. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. What about Denmark? Yes, there's also a lot of festivals. Uh -huh. But Danish people also like to enjoy life, uh -huh. to sing and to, to dance. To dance and Do you know how to dance? I know how to dance. What about singing? I also know how to dance Nepali dance. It's a different dance. <laughs> <laughs> a different dance. It is different than Denmark. Yes. Definitely, yes. we have our own native culture. Besides this, do yes. you know how to sing or not a Nepali song? No. No. Why? No, I don't speak Nepali. You don't speak no, Nepali. This I is your 12th visit, <laughs> and don't you feel that yeah, uh, yes. you should go, you yes. should learn Nepali language? Yes. But don't I, you also, know? I also think that I think I think that Nepali people uh, should learn Danish language. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Yes. What about a Nepali song? Since you have been in Nepal, this is your 12th visit. You are saying so. I guess you should. You I know? have heard a lot of Nepali songs. But, but you don't uh, know how to no, sing. No, I understand a little bit Nepali, but uh -huh. I don't speak Nepali. You are uh -huh. a general manager of Pari. Yes. First of all, tell us what is this Pari means? Pari uh, is uh, some profiles uh, uh, of human being, you know, to, to, uh, to find out uh, what kind of people are, are there. And it's been used for human resource, for uh, working together, for communication, for... Uh, uh, you know, to, to find the best team to work together and also for, uh, for recruitment. Mm -hmm. And we sell it in Denmark and in Scandinavia and also in England. We have also Pari UK. So uh, that's Pari. Okay. But you know, it's not that that we do in Nepal. Okay. <laughs> so what in, in Nepal, what are you doing these days? Uh, it was uh, like this. I come to Nepal the first time in 1995. Uh -huh. 1995? Yes. Okay. And I was just traveling around in India and uh, travel around with, uh, with a bag. And then I come to Nepal and walk in the mountain and uh, trekking and whatever you do as a tourist. But then I met uh, Mohan Gurung and uh, a lot of friends. And I think Nepali people is special. So we enjoy it. So uh, the year after, uh, my brother Mohan was coming to Denmark. And then I come to Nepal again. And, that's all. and then we find out to uh, because I walk in the mountain and saw there was a lot of small kids that uh, have two and a half hours going to school and mm -hmm. two and a half yeah. hours back from school. So that means that they never come to, to school. So I think that how can we do that? So uh, small uh, children, so, yeah. we then uh, build a school out in, in the mountains. Mm -hmm. So they have the school in the small village. During that time? During that era? Yes. Okay. We opened the first school in 1998. 98, okay. And uh, the first thing was that we put a new road up to the city, to the village, and then we put uh, some water in, and then we put uh, a school. Can we say that this particular moment in 1998 made you to work for Nepal? Yeah. The incidents which you said? Yeah. But you know, it don't feel like that. It feels like that <laughs> just. Uh, I get home from, from Nepal and, and, and see this and then I have a lot of good friends and uh, then I make this project, it's a private project. Uh, so what, I, what kind of project is that? That was uh, that we built Gaun, this school, Gaun, Gaun, Gaun? Gaun okay. Nepal, okay. that's the name of it. Uh -huh. So that is the name of the yeah. project? Yes, mm -hmm. and then we, uh, you know, I think that, that people want to help each other in this earth also and a lot of Danish people want also to give to, to other people. But um, they have to know what they give to. So that means that we make this a project so they pay to this uh, village. Mm -hmm. And then we make another village and other people pay to th this village. So once in a year we send them such a, a, a thing, a film or uh, pictures from the village so they can see the development of the village. Mm -hmm. And today we see there is a very uh, good result.
because of the success. Mm -hmm. And uh, we make it first up in Kevron, a small village there, and then we make it in another small village, and then we made it down the uh, road. And we make a project there and school there, and uh, now uh, this project we now make a health studio there okay. instead of also. Yeah. Now, 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 you just uh, said that uh, you have been to Tan Tanaho yeah, before Tanahu. a few days. Yes. So what is the main purpose of this visit, this Nepal visit or this Tanahu visit? This was because uh, in, in uh, Serata mm -hmm. uh, there is a road and uh, there is a big factory, a cigarette factory, uh, moving from, I think, Kathmandu and out in this area. And I think they move out there because they were more educated there than other places because of the school that we built. So they move out there, so now uh, I go out for seeing that they built this factory, so that means that's another thing that we have to do with the school. And also another thing have to do that we make this health project, mm -hmm. where we put um, two nurses in every day and then uh, two times a month there come a doctor and you know the health in the area also. Mm -hmm. So that is also to help. Okay. So from 1995, since 1995, you have been working in Nepal. From 1998, you have been working in Nepal. What kind of changes do you feel? What kind of changes do you saw in the uh, development discourse? Uh, naturally, I see a lot of uh, a lot of changes. What, what, what kind of? Yes, yeah, a lot of. Uh, I can show you one. Yeah. This. Okay, mobile. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, that yeah, is. Definitely. The first time I come to Nipano, the first time also my brother Mohan was coming to Denmark. Uh, 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 uh. I have a mobile phone okay. and he was just taking it and looking <laughs> where is <laughs> the cable because and now everybody has everybody, everybody even in the villages yeah. of in, in the in the remote uh, area of Nepal yes. there is the yeah. signal of mobile. Two years ago I was uh, with some some uh, friends from Denmark also I was in Chiron mm -hmm. and there was this little elephant man sitting okay. in the front of the uh, elephant uh, uh, and when you go back brrr, and he put it up here. <laughs> So I think, okay, the world is different. But I also see that uh, some things happen here. There is more traffic. There is um, more blue light. There is... Um, also, I see that Nepali people have changed their clothes. A lot of uh, people... A lot of people uh, have uh, different nice? clothes. Western clothes. On. Western clothes. Yes, today. A lot of girls have Western clothes on. Do you feel happy when you see the uh, Nepali people changing their uh, dressing pattern or their living style? Do you feel happy? This is life. This is the world. So I, I don't know if I've, I've... Naturally, I can see that... that uh, I can say that there was, was a lot of things uh, in 1995 that was different and very charming. But naturally, I... I, uh, I'm very happy because Nepali race, Nepali, there's something's happening here. Mm. Naturally, it's also Kathmandu because Kathmandu is, is now a very, very big city comparing to 1995. But uh, what I can see there is a, a problem, as I see it in Nepal, a very big problem, and that is that a lot of young people from the countryside, from the small village in the mountain, is moving to Kathmandu or moving to Pokhara, moving to a big city, or get a job ab abroad. Mm -hmm. So that means that all the young people is taken from the villages. <laughs> that means that there, there they produce the food. So who in 25 years is producing food mm -hmm. in the village? So Nepal as uh, the country have to import food. Mm -hmm. Why so this problem in Nepal? What do you see? What is your opinion on this? I think it's a bad thing because I see that what's happened in India and in India, they have, uh, I think it's 12, 15 years ago, they make a project to, to find out how can, we, how can we make it attractive to young people staying in the mountains, mm -hmm. staying in the countryside, so they produce food. Mm -hmm. But they haven't done that in, in, in Nepal. I think that we try to, to find a way to uh, have uh, young people staying in Nepal, in, Nepal, mm -hmm. in the countryside. But what is attractive for a young uh, guy in the mountains? Mm -hmm. Nothing. So naturally they have to have internet, they have to have better schools, they have to have a lot of uh, other things. Money. They have to... Yes, earn money? Naturally earn yeah, money, yeah. yes. And, and therefore also we have to, to maybe think a little bit different in Nepal than mm -hmm. they have done other. 
places in the world. So how can we uh, control this? How can we make people to stay in Nepal? <coughs> To stay out uh, in the country, right? In the in the, in the country, right? In yeah, Nepal. I don't I don't have a, I don't have a, a, a clear answer of that. Uh -huh. But I think that because uh, you have been working in this development field yes, since last uh, yeah, so many years. Yes, yes. But I think that one of the thing is that uh, that uh, you know, today every everybody I meet in Nepal, in in uh, in Kathmandu, have a village, come mm -hmm. from a village. Mm -hmm. So I think that they should be more proud of the village. Meaning, how can we do that? We do. We try to put up in in uh, in Kevron, the first school we built. Mm. We try to do two things. One thing was that, you know, in the Western world, when you leave the school, you have a hood. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. But here, when you started the school, the small kids, uh -huh. then we give them a hood. <laughs> <laughs> so my mother was nickeling hoods. So I think we, today we have given, I don't know how many students, but. Every time they start in the school, they get a hood. That's one thing. The other thing is that we want them to make a picture okay. of the class uh -huh. and put it up the board. Uh -huh. So they say, why? Because now we can see when we start in 1998 and, mm -hmm. and the school now, so those who started in, in third class then uh, is parents today. So they can walk over to the school with the small kids and say, here, you see <laughs> mom and dad there. <laughs> so maybe that's just thinking another thing. but then maybe they are proud of the, the, the school in the village. Mm. So maybe that's one of the small things we can do, so keep them there. So are you happy with all this deeds? Yes, I'm very happy to see things. Do you think that you have achieved something? Yes, yes, definitely. What kind I, of? I think that, I think some globally, uh -huh. you know, a lot of people is, uh, we saw it uh, in, in, uh, when this tsunami was there. A lot of uh, people gave money to the, the, the things in, uh, in the tsunami. <laughs> and, and I also think that a lot of people want to help other people in the world. But they want also to, to say that if I give something, then I want to see that it's been used the right way. And it helps. And naturally, there is um, a lot of country where you have this uh, commission system. That means you pay commission everywhere, here and there and whatever. Somebody call it corruption, but <laughs> let's say it's, it's commission. Yeah. And naturally, if you pay there, then people, don't, uh, people in the Western world don't, don't want to pay there because mm -hmm. they don't want to pay to one man who is uh, getting better rich. They want to pay so you can see the development in the mm -hmm. country. We said this, uh, since 1995 you have yeah. been working in Nepal and yeah. 1996 to 2006, mm. it is known as the most critical time in, in yes. the Nepalese history yes. Yes. due to this mouse incidency yes. and all. Yeah. How difficult was the time it was in the difficult. development discourse? No, it was very difficult because it was difficult because, uh, you know, uh, also in our small project, mm -hmm. uh, uh, somebody was coming with a pistol to say we want money when you have this project. So you do face those kind of problems? Uh, the only thing that I can do was to say okay then we drop it. Mm. The project was Yes, closed. then we drop it. Okay. So naturally in this year we put it a little bit down. We still have the school, we still pay uh, the money for the teachers and something like that. But okay. uh, you know it was very low and then we put it up again. Mm -hmm. But yes. now, now you have uh, now, a wonderful time yes. in Nepal. Yes, now okay. I think it's, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Naturally, there's a lot of problems that we can, can try to, 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 to do something about in Nepal. One of the problems I see, in, especially in Kathmandu, is that they have no uh, electricity. Mm -hmm. And that is a problem. The current <laughs> problem. The major problem. Mm, yes, <laughs> that is a problem for uh -huh. each uh, citizen. Yes, definitely. Yes, that definitely. is the problem. Yes. So. So, um, uh, you know, I come from, from Denmark, and uh -huh. Denmark is, uh, I think, the world's uh, best development country, country. for windmills. Uh -huh. So uh, now we try to, uh, to find out if it's possible to put windmills in Nepal. Nepal as well. So you are working yes. on that as yes. well? Yes. Okay. Because uh, we have the greatest company in the world, is Vesta from Denmark, and um, then we find out is it possible to, to, uh, to have wind enough in, in Nepal so we can put windmills up?
mm. so you can have uh, 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 mm -hmm. so you can have electricity okay <laughs> besides this what else besides this then we we have this now health uh, thing in in uh, in Serta and uh, maybe we, <coughs> we also want to build a school in in another city so mm -hmm. we have these two kind of projects one is a school because we think that a country develop uh, when children is uh, is educating. So today also I, I try, I was in this school here, Southwestern mm -hmm. College, and I teach there. Okay. <laughs> it was very funny <laughs> to teach there. Uh, so I teach young people there. Okay. Also to see what's happened, uh, where are we? And, and, uh, and uh, so that could also be a, uh, uh -huh. a, a thing in the future. Okay. Do you have any memorable moments while working in Nepal with the Nepali community, with the stakeholders and uh, bureaucracy? Uh, uh, a memorable moments. Yes, there's a lot of memory moments. Can you please share one yes, or two? Yes, uh, you know, uh, people are, are very uh, mm -hmm. kind. So, uh, if I should tell one funny story, it was uh, out in the in the countryside, out in in uh, in Kevron. Huh. It's far out in the mountain, and then uh, there was a uh, Nepali song and Nepali dance, and mm -hmm. they sung mm -hmm. and the dance and whatever. And then I remember a Danish song. So I put them up and have a Danish song that was something like, uh, you know, some put what you do and, and something like that, a, a, a song for the group. And everybody was singing. Mm -hmm. And it was in the middle of the, of the mountains. And it was quiet and no, and, and no light. So I think to myself, if there was coming a Dane, go in, in, <laughs> in the area and uh -huh. hear a Danish song <laughs> in <laughs> Nepal area. That was a fun one. Okay, a uh, one Danish song. <laughs> yeah, and yes. You know, you know how to sing a Danish song, so can no, you please? No, 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 <laughs> you don't no, want no, to go no, in that no, part. No, no, no. Okay. No. While working from the policy side, do you face any problem from the Nepali policy makers or the policy uh, problem? I see that I don't want to, 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 uh, to in, be involved in Nepali politics. No, not the politics, no. but the policy. Policy might uh, create a uh, disturbance while uh, working in the development field. Yes, but because you, you have to go through with the policy, mm -hmm. isn't it? So, have yes, you faced any kind of policy which is uh, not, no. which is against the development uh, project and all? No, I don't think. I, I see that uh, everybody supported. I mean, mm -hmm. That's that's fine. I have a meeting uh, two days ago with the the education minister. And uh, he was very kind and it was very, very good. And, and uh, in 2008, you know, there was this uh, uh, cup uh, for uh, all over the world and it was in Copenhagen. Mm -hmm. And naturally, there was a lot of people from Nepal and also the prime minister. So naturally, I say hello to him and very kind people and I know the embassy. In, so in till today, Canada. you haven't faced any kind of such problems, no. the um, policy problems? No. no. Okay. So no. beside this, uh, how do you analyze the current situation of Nepal in terms of development? Are we moving towards the better path? Are we heading towards the right direction? I think that, that you're heading in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And I also see that it will take time. And naturally, time is two things. Because one thing is time, you know, when you have this. Mobile. It's Definitely. going like mm -hmm. this. Another thing is development time for creating th uh, thoughts in, in human mind and that will take time okay and i also think that is the right way to do it right now but i think it will take time mm. while working in the development project what about the monitoring and evaluation part have you focused on that as well since because in nepal the news comes that there are schools there are hospitals but there mm. is the lack of uh, doctors there is the lack of uh, health worker mm. there is the lack of uh, mm. teachers have you faced those kind of problems since you have established so many hospitals, so many uh, educational institutions? No, I see still that it's the right way. But I also see that, that uh, naturally Nepal also have a problem because the problem is uh, infrastructure. <laughs> because naturally in Denmark, a flat country, you have an infrastructure. You don't have that in Nepal. So you have to move to the <laughs> So, so it's a very difficult thing. So naturally it takes time. Okay. I also see now they be, uh, built some roads uh, in uh, 1997, I think it was. I was tracking around Annapurna. Uh, and today you can drive from, from uh, Pokhara and all the way up to Tatopani. 
All, uh, somebody say that you can drive all the way up to Johnson. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I haven't been there, but but uh, in that time you could walk, okay. and that was it. Denmark so and Nepal, place. according to you. What? Denmark and Nepal, according to you. Denmark is. Uh, I think Denmark is uh, willing to help Nepal, and uh, naturally, this is a project, uh, a private project, and not a, a government project. But I know that there is uh, a lot of government projects, Danish government also, Danita who are making mm -hmm, uh, things in Denmark, yeah. yes. Yeah. So uh, I also think they will do that in the future. Mm -hmm. So that, that's it? Yeah, so okay. that's it. And how can Denmark help us for the development of Nepal? Similarly, how can uh, we help Denmark? How can we establish a better relationship between the two countries, Denmark and Nepal, according to you? I'm not a politic man, so uh, I don't know quite how you can do it, but naturally it's for the government to, to talk about that. Mm -hmm. But I think that one thing is that uh, private, uh, private uh, projects in, in Nepal from Denmark mm. is, uh, is a very good thing mm -hmm. because it helps and because we help Nepal to develop it. And that's what I think is the best thing. At last. Yeah. It's time to wrap up our show. Do you have anything to share with us? The only thing I have there, I think it's a wonderful country. Huh. I think you are a wonderful people. <laughs> yes. And I hopefully think also that uh, you appreciate that we do something here. That's what I want to say. It was really very good talking with you. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming to our show, Thank to you. our country and helping us. Thank you. Thank you very much. The audience, Thank you to you as well for supporting us, for watching us. Mm -hmm.